Kate treats Megan like trash. Leak pictures Catherine looked at Meg with hatred the rift growing. Kate Middleton was recently caught on camera throwing an icy glare at her sister-in-law Meghan Markle, and body language experts were quick to weigh in on this arguably awkward moment between the Princess of Wales and the Duchess of Sussex. Body language expert Katie Aloysal asserted Kate did this to freeze Meghan out. Quite unlike the confident Meghan we know, Meghan appeared ill at ease during this encounter, which is not surprising given the recent criticism that she has faced, she told Australia's 7 News. On numerous occasions Meghan looked over at Kate, however, the gaze wasn't reciprocated, Lois added, saying that Kate appeared to look through Meghan instead. Lois went on to say that she believes Kate succeeded in making Meghan feel uncomfortable. Meghan's hand lifted hesitantly as if to wave, but stopped mid-air, rather pausing to adjust her hair, her head and gaze lowered, before looking up and giving a quick wave, her arm coming back to rest in front of her body in a partial arm barrier, she explained. Body language Judy James told Daily Mail that it was clear to her that Kate and her husband Prince William were struggling to get along with Meghan and Prince Harry. She discussed them putting on a show of unity as they walked out of Windsor Castle to greet mourners of Queen Elizabeth, who died last week at the age of 96. This is a phenomenal and unexpected scene that displays some natural caution and awkwardness in the body language, although as a statement of intent it seems choreographed as something of a loving tribute the Queen and in some ways the new King, who took what was maybe the first step in speaking of his love for Harry and Meghan in his recent speech, she said. The four line up together to suggest some form of unity and it is William, with his puffed chest and air of confidence, who looks like the leader and instigator, James further analyzed. Harry performs some clothing touch anxiety rituals but Meghan seems to be on hand to offer comfort, support and encouragement. There's no signs of relaxed engagement or even affection here but the fact they are lining up together and communicating again is impressive in itself, the body language expert noted. It's an adult approach from the new Prince of Wales and it could have broken a lot of ice in terms of their body language at the funeral and beyond. It's been over a week since Queen Elizabeth II passed away at the age of 96, but the nation she served and the family who knew Hugh Best are still devoting their days to round-the-clock displays of grief. As a result of this official period of mourning, the Queen's grandchildren are receiving more global scrutiny than at any other time in their adult lives. Of course, it often seems that the majority of that attention is being paid not to William and Harry, but to their wives, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle. Prior to the Queen's passing, the British tabloids spilled far more ink on Meghan than any other royal, despite the fact that she stepped down from her official duties back in 2020. We wouldn't have imagined it was possible, but the media's criticism has been more relentless than ever in the wake of the Queen's passing. Much of the speculation surrounding Meghan has had to do with how she's being received by the rest of the royals. After all, it was only last year that the Duchess of Sussex exposed a mountain of royal misbehavior during her interview with Oprah Winfrey.